good morning happy weekend i have my coffee and a little bee mug today i don't know if i've shared this one before i got this one for my birthday also it is 55 degrees outside <laughs> honestly it's a little chilly <laughs> coming from being so hot a couple weeks ago to now being 55 is like ugh like a shock to the system a little bit a little bit but it is wonderful out here uh, it's so quiet i hear birds i have the sliding glass door open and luna luna's looking out <laughs> so yeah um i it's getting pretty close to being like this all the time which is awesome it is supposed to get hot again this weekend here it's and I think next week it's supposed to be like up in the upper 80s again and it's supposed to be in the 60s at night but that's better than the 70s at night so we are making we are surely making our way towards cooler weather and I am very excited <laughs> um, the garden is actually it's doing pretty well um, you can kind of see back there the cucumber Cucumbers are climbing up the panel, which is very exciting. There's lots of female flowers. I haven't spotted any male flowers yet. So we'll see <laughs> when I have some cucumbers. The squash is doing really well. The pole beans are not doing so well. Um, I think that I should have been a little bit more proactive when it came to the bug damage and sprayed. I didn't spray. <laughs> I said I was going to and I just didn't. So. I planted peas kind of over here in the tomato area, like where there's no tomatoes. I have some of those coming up, but I did also start some peas in the greenhouse last night. I know you don't really like need to do that, but um, I soaked them in a wet paper towel for, I don't know, most of the day yesterday, and then put them in some potting soil in the greenhouse last night. So we'll see. Um, I may have better germination there because it will be more protected and I can keep it more evenly watered with like a bottom water tray and all that. So we'll see what happens with those. I planted like uh, 24 seeds <laughs> last night. So if they all come up, I will have lots of peas, which is awesome. I'm just trying, I'm, I'm fighting. I'm chasing the frost, um, essentially. I'm trying to get some stuff in the ground before the frost comes. I did, I'll take you over there in a minute, but I did make some little hoops um, and some frost fabric covers for my raised beds to keep the squirrels out, and it has been working. Fingers crossed it keeps working. <laughs> I have not had any squirrels in those beds since I did that. I planted some radishes, some radish seeds in the one bed yesterday, so that's exciting. I'll have those in uh, realistically like three-ish weeks, three to four weeks. You can harvest radishes. Um, I planted some new varieties to me. My best friend, Katie, she, when I tell you that I'm a seed hoarder, she is more of a seed hoarder. <laughs> She gave me, she went through all of her seeds last weekend and she brought over this box, this little, if you've ever ordered from Botanical Interest, you know, they send you those cute little boxes. She brought over one of those boxes full of seeds that she didn't want. And I said, I will take all of them, obviously. So actually the peas that I started in the greenhouse last night are from that box of seeds she brought over. <laughs> um, I don't remember what variety it was. They're like a shelling pea, which honestly I grow like snap peas, but I end up shelling them anyway. Um, I will use a few of them in this, in the shell, but I usually just end up shelling them anyway. So whatever. But she also gave me some radishes that I had never grown before. Um, China rose, which is like a longer, more tubular shaped radish and then a watermelon radish which is white on the outside and pink on the inside so I've never grown any either of those so I decided to plant some seeds over in one of these raised beds so we'll see how they do um, I grew radishes in that raised bed in the spring and they did really well 
Um, I grew them kind of around my onions before my onions really started to bulb up and they did really well. So I think that those raised beds are really great for stuff like that. Um, I did grow onions in them and they got a pretty good size. I was very happy with my onions. I don't think I showed them because I pulled them out, I think literally like the week before we moved. And so at that point I was, I was not thinking about like making videos. <laughs> I was thinking about moving everything I own. So yeah, I did get lots of onions and I ended up just, I cut them up and I put them in the freezer cause I knew I didn't have time to cure them. Uh, before we moved and I really didn't want to move uncured onions and then have to immediately find somewhere to put them and so I just said okay I'm just gonna cut them up and freeze them and they are wonderful and delicious and I love them so my goal for next year is to actually build a couple or maybe just one for now I don't know like small raised beds like shallow like only like four inches deep and just add some compost um, and maybe some like vermiculite or something in there just to kind of like add some fluffiness to the soil. And I really wanna grow onions again, but I wanna do more onions. And I wanna like cure them and have them for, you know, long-term storage as opposed to just having them in the freezer. Cause like frozen onions are good and I just chop them up. They're wonderful in recipes. When I make green beans in my instant pot, I just use those chopped onions and they are so good. But sometimes you just need like a raw, like a fresh onion. So I def I definitely wanna make sure that I have some to cure um, next year. I also, I don't know, I kinda wanna plant garlic, but I've done garlic before and uh, here's the thing. I'm really lazy when it comes to garlic. Like, I buy the jar of garlic that's already minced and use that. I just use, like, three times more than it calls for in the recipe. I also just buy, like, the pre-peeled cloves from Aldi in a bag. So, I do enjoy fresh garlic because it's so much more pungent than, like, store-bought garlic. But, I don't know. I might plant some. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what kind of mood I'm in when it comes to bee garlic planting time, which is in like January or February, I think is when I planted it last time and then I harvested it in like July. So, I don't know, I have a few months. I might do it because it's like the really fir the first thing here that you can plant. So, I don't know, we'll see. Let's go over to the garden. I wanna show you some stuff. So, Oh, there's a hole right there. I almost fell in it. I told you that I was going to make some hoops for my raised beds, and I did that. So all I did was I, look at the squash. Hoop. It looks so good. I'm so, I'm so happy. Um, I have noticed a few little flowers starting to form, which is very exciting. So anyway, so I made these hoops over here, these, and let me find a place to put my coffee down and I will show you. So these are the hoops. Um, and when I say hoops, I mean, okay, so this is frost fabric that I've had, and I actually already had it cut in these um, size pieces for some reason. I think this is what I would use in the greenhouse. But all I did was I took hangers, like wire hangers, and I put them, I cut the hanger part off and I made little hoops, just bent them. I did uh, six in each of these beds. These beds are, I think, four feet long or three and a half feet long, I don't know. And then I just took my frost fabric and just kind of tucked it in like this. So actually, these will eventually serve a dual purpose because I will be able to use these for like maybe some season extension when it comes to this has a couple little tiny kales in it and this is where I planted my radishes but in this bed this is where I have my lettuce and stuff and I need to actually plant some more spinach now that the squirrels won't dig it up but like look at this lettuce I actually harvested off of this stuff yesterday and um it was delicious so 
I am going to sow some more lettuce seeds kind of like he, like in the blank spots um, because the squirrels were digging in here and so the seeds all got displaced or buried too deep or whatever and then down here in this little empty quadrant I'm going to do some more spinach so these beds are really cool um, they have these little support brackets in here to keep them from bowing out on the sides because they are plastic and so because of that I actually kind of use these as quadrants so I will do like something here something here and then something here now in this case these are both just lettuce um, just broad sown like mix lettuce mixes but down here I will do some spinach um, spinach is super frost tender so I'm hoping that having this frost fabric over it will help it maybe last longer so yeah that's kind of how I did that and then I just kind of roll the fabric back and then just kind of tuck it back in like this when I'm done and so far the squirrels have left them alone so I would call that a win for me so I am hoping that those hoops will help me be able to actually harvest some stuff and grow some stuff um, without having the world worry about squirrels digging it up I did not find any fall plant starts when I went looking last week but it's okay I did buy some pansies at a local nursery with the other beautiful that I have planted kind of just in some spots of stuff that has um, shriveled up <laughs> so those are beautiful I did actually buy some kale like not the plants but the actual kale they had um, some beautiful looking kale for super cheap so I grabbed some of that and it's delicious but I do have some little kale sprouts in that one raised bed. I am hopeful that they will keep growing and give me some kale. I'm gonna go in and get my day started. I hope everyone has a great weekend. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.